Well, you're late. You said 2.30. I said 12.30. They sound similar. And I texted you. My phone's not working. So Fan asked me last week, Lisa, you were homeschooled. What was that like? Being homeschooled is kind of like being on an episode of Big Brother that lasts 12 years, and instead of a cash prize at the end, you get a diploma that everyone questions. And I realized that most sidekicks in video games aren't necessarily there to be helpful. Most of them are just batch irritating. Hey, listen! No, you listen! My whole face was just magnetic. I was like Bane. Oh, do you like to see me eat corn? I would walk by a refrigerator and just be like <laughs> I ended up having like four oral surgeries. I swear I had like 16 wisdom teeth or something. Like they just kept growing. There was like a wisdom tooth factory in my jaw. So at one point they needed to widen my mouth, which sounds horrifying. And it is horrifying because they're, they're widening your skull. They're literally taking your skull and going mm. And they do this via a horrible little demonic device called a palate expander. Now, the thing they didn't tell me about the palate expander is that as it's pulling your skull into two pieces, it separates your front teeth. So you just have this like giant gap in between your front teeth. That definitely happened to me. Surprise! Like being under house arrest, only instead of an ankle monitor, you have an anklet made out of elbow macaroni that you made with your cat. Side note, if you haven't played this gorgeous game, you are missing out. Seriously, trade in Black Ops and buy this instead. Wow, oh, that's gonna piss people off. The number one most ridiculous video game currency? Microsoft points. Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. What was silly about using points to buy things on a video game console instead of real currency like adults? 400 points equals $5? What's absurd or confusing about that? <laughs> it's sort of like being in solitary confinement voluntarily where they keep opening the doors to set you free, but you're just like... I think I'll stay. <laughs> no! Going again. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but you're even worse than last time. Okay, no, no, you know what? We are done with this mushroom cup, okay? That's kid stuff. You know what it's time for? It's time for Rainbow Road. <laughs> no, don't do that. Oh, I am right on your tail. Oh, what's that? Hello, Mr. Blue Shell. So close, so close, so close. Yes! Yes! What? What? In your face, in your little midget face. Mm, you like that? That's right, I won. I won. I took you down to pound town. Oh, what's that? What am I doing? Ooh, I won, I won. Mm, yeah! Mm. There was one more lap. You lost. So you wanna play Barbies or something? No, I don't play Barbies with nibs. Dude, I was a total brat. I would call myself a bitch, but I was too young and I feel like that term should be reserved for those of us who are older and deserve it more. I'm not entirely sure because I haven't finished the game. But I do know the dog is awesome, so get off me. It's a scary game, it takes me a long time to finish scary games. Just ask me what level I'm still on in Dead Space. Uh, two. Level two. What are we talking about? I have one more pitch for you. Oh god. I went to a soccer game recently, Chelsea versus Rangers. Oh, oh really? Who won? Rangers, total upset. Oh. And as I was sitting in the sands, I was thinking, man, I would love to shoot these players with a sniper rifle. Just right in the kneecaps. Pop! And we'd use real footage of soccer players falling down for no reason like big giant pussies. Observe. Oh, ow, my knee! Oh, rogue sniper! Where did that come from? Oh, arrow to the knee? No, bullet to the knee. Boom! Ow! Not you, Beckham! He's, is he a soccer player? Yes. Oh, ow, it hurts! It's like FIFA meets Duck Hunt. Give him a red card. Yellow, 
purple card. Give him all the cards. Pew! From the left. Pew! Oh, he's down. Purple card for you. Is there a purple card? There's no, no such purple. thing as a purple card. I, I wasn't really paying attention at the game, actually. That's oh, hurt. boom! We'd call it Soccer Sniper. I don't hate it. Let's call Nicolas Cage! No, don't fucking call Nicolas Cage! Hang on, George. Hello? Hey, Nick. How's it going? How are those castles? There's a treasure map on the Wait. back of my- Hey, how do you feel about a video game called Soccer Sniper? Yeah, it's about- I love it, Lisa. Let's make it. He loves it. Uh, fine, fine. We'll, we'll make Soccer Sniper. Yes! Yeah, great. Um, I think I'm gonna be the voice of the sniper, you know, but silent. Yeah, sure, whatever you want, Nick. Where's your dog? What? Your dog. You were supposed to bring your dog. I don't have a dog. You don't have a dog? No, I don't have a dog. Well, what the hell? Every time I talk to you on the phone, I hear you yell things like... Hey, get your hairy ass off the counter or get away from my Fruit Loops, you slobbery bitch. Who, who are you talking to? Oh, my roommate. Actually, that seems about right. Well, I wanted to intro this video with me happily and merrily walking a dog down the street, but you don't have one, so what am I supposed to walk? Walking my dog, singing my song, strolling along. It's just me and my dog, catching some sun, we can't go wrong. Um, another set of braces later, I close the gap, and my teeth look great now. Mmm, mmm, ow, I hit my foot, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> One more pitch for you. Let's do a fact or fiction, or true or false. Number A, you get to go to school in your pajamas. Uh, yeah, true, or fact. I mean, it's true for me, probably not if you had one of those like crazy helicopter moms who tried really hard to make your house seem like a school, uh, you know, with like a chalkboard and it, like she was gonna trick you into thinking you were at real school. Like, mom, this isn't a classroom, I'm in the kitchen. The shelves at school had books, not Bombay Sapphire. Sometimes I even got to study in my room as long as I promise not to watch Lord of the Rings. Like, that's me probably going over my notes for elvish verb conjugation. Uh, number B. Uh, speaking of crazy moms, all homeschoolers are like Jesus camp meets Scientology levels of religious psychopathy. Uh, false. Not true. I mean, some probably yes, but all the ones I knew had like really well-functioning families who probably cried themselves to sleep every night because their children just would never leave. Ever. And for the record, I totally think that glasses make you look smarter. Like, I would wear these every day in my life if they weren't the wrong prescription and prevented me from performing basic tasks like walking through doors. Ah, uh, see, homeschoolers become like really socially stupid and awkward. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's kind of true. I mean, it comes with the territory though. Like you're isolated from other children so you don't experience the wedgies and the noogies and the swirlies and the cooties and the gossip and oh my God, how horrible. Uh, but that is why it is important that homeschool kids partake in outside activities with other kids. I chose theater. See, that's me becoming well-adjusted. I was a lizard in Cinderella. And you may be saying to yourself, I don't remember there being a lizard in Cinderella. And I would counter that by saying, D, homeschoolers create imaginary friends to hang out with. Kevin is real, shut up! Uh, this is true and false. Uh, I didn't have any imaginary friends, but I did like to dress up my cats and my dog. Sometimes I would even put war paint on my face and on my dog's face, and we would roam around the backyard and see if we could live off the land for a while. Seriously, my pets were my best friends. And they're all dead now. Oh.